When you are attacked online for posting your opinion, that is online abuse. I believe in taking action on issues that matter. I support animal rights, and I'm also involved in online and offline actions to help protect animals. I also moderate two online forums that allow members to share positive actions and promote specific causes. One of the downsides of online forums are the trolls and haters that are online. Online hate and trolling is a big issue. A lot of negative and really nasty comments are made. A lot of the comments have no relevance to the issues discussed and are personal attacks. I worry about the impact of these comments on vulnerable people. I've been on forums where people are encouraged to harm themselves or even end their lives. A lot of the online hate aimed at women is sexualized and violent and criticizes appearance. Other people tend to join in quickly once they see a comment, adding more threats and hate. I use these basic steps to keep in control. I refuse to engage with the trolls and haters. I block them and always report them to the site administrator and encourage others to do the same. I send a message of support to anyone being abused. I have separate accounts for the three different areas of my life and I don't link my accounts. My personal life, my working life and my forum life are all kept separate. Keeping it all separate helps me stay in control. I never use my real name on forums and I don't list my address, my workplace or any other information that could be used to find me. I turn off location services before I go on forums and use the privacy settings in each account. I take some breaks if the hate is too intense and connect with friends privately. I check in with people who have been abused and reassure them. Let's back each other up online. Find out more at eSafetyForWomen.com